Whether you're just starting a new fund or maybe you've been operating a fund for a few years and you know how fun or how not fun and manual and annoying and cumbersome it is to onboard new investors. You need to collect signatures on many subscription documents. So you have your PPM, your subdocs, your um, investment management agreement, your W9, and if you're accepting in investors from uh, other countries, your W8 as well. And you need to get signatures from signers whose emails and names you don't even have most of the time. If you think of a spouse, a custodian, or a second trustee. You also need to make sure that all the documents have been completed correctly. You want to file those documents somewhere. You also want to uh, collect, or maybe I should say chase, accreditation certification documents to make sure that your investors are meeting the accreditation status. And finally, you need to send them wiring instructions after they've completed all the documents. All of this doesn't just take a huge amount of time, but you're also aware that investors trust you with a lot of money. So you're concerned about the friction that your manual process and all the back and forth between your team and LPs is causing. So you're looking for ways to make the process become a quick and easy thing for your investors and you've come to the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can completely automate investor onboarding processes using workflow automation tools. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi, and I'm the founder of Solusign Consulting, where we help financial services companies automate uh, client onboarding workflows using the best of breed automation tools and practices. If you need the help of a team to implement what I'm going to show you over the next few minutes, you can book a strategy session using the link um, in the description of this video. But for now, let's go back to the purpose of this video, which is to talk about onboarding automation. So what is onboarding automation? The idea is that every LP should be able to complete the documents on autopilot without the, uh, your team having to be involved. Think of it as an automated virtual conveyor belt that guides them through the appropriate steps depending on whether they are an entity, an individual applying jointly, or even if they're using a trust. So for example, if the investor is an entity, this section doesn't need to be filled out, but this section does. And if the LP is an individual, then they should be required to upload a copy of their driver's license. But if the LP is subscribing using an entity, we need a copy of the company formation documents. And if the LP wants to subscribe with their spouse or lives in a state that forces them to subscribe with their spouse, then we need to somehow get the spouse's name and email because they also need to sign the documents. But how can you automate a workflow if you don't even know what type of beneficial ownership interest the LP will use to subscribe to your fund? The solution is that you need to have an investor facing questionnaire that determines which situation the LP falls under and then determines which fields of the subscription documents your signers will need to complete and also whose contact uh, details, so name and email, do we need to collect so that we can send them the envelope. DocuSign alone is not going to help you with this because it doesn't offer this interview style questionnaire that then determines which signing flow is appropriate for the limited partner. So the software that I like to use for this in conjunction with DocuSign is called JotForm because it integrates really well with DocuSign. And by the way, I've added the link to sign up for a free JotForm account in the description of this video. And if you sign up within the first 48 hours, I think you get 50% off. Using JotForm, you'll be able to create an interview style questionnaire that guides um, your LP through the signing process without having to be involved at all and makes sure that all the information needed to complete the uh, subscription packet uh, is actually accurate and, and, and there. Using the questionnaire, the LP can provide the name and email address of additional signers, such as a spouse or another authorized signatory. They can also upload all KYC documents. And so the KYC documents will be uh, dependent on what structure the LP is, is subscribing at. The LP will also be able to request a letter from their CPA or IRA or attorney that proves that they uh, meet the accreditation criteria. So if they provide the name and email of that advisor, the onboarding automation will send to their attorney or CPA or IRA a separate DocuSign envelope, which can be signed in a few minutes, and that provides the accreditation certification letter that uh, as a fund manager, you need to onboard your limited partner. 
The questionnaire will also collect information that will be used to pre-fill the DocuSign uh, subscription documents. Once that questionnaire is submitted, then DocuSign, um, the DocuSign signing experience starts and the LP can complete the signing process directly in the same browser. So there is no disconnection, there's no additional step the LP needs to go through. For them, it's the same thing. They fill out the questionnaire and then the DocuSign envelope just starts immediately. And the beautiful thing is that since the signing experience is dictated by the type of LP, they can't complete the wrong box or miss a field. It's just not going to happen. Even if the LP was trying to um, make a, a mistake voluntarily, the DocuSign envelope would reject um, would reject the entry or, or remind them that they need to select at least one of those four boxes in this particular section, for example. But now let's talk about what happens once the LP have signed the documents. So of course, once all the LPs, so whether it's the um, um, individual or an individual with a spouse or multiple trustees or an IRA, or um, it really depends on the configuration there, but let's just say that all the signers on the LP side have signed the document. Well, then the envelope will be sent to the GP uh, who manages the fund so that they can countersign the envelope using uh, DocuSign. If they're on the go, I really suggest using the DocuSign mobile app so you get a notification saying that the LP have signed the document, you just tap on it and you just sign and you're done. But the other thing is that we can also trigger an automated wiring instruction email to be sent to the limited partners as soon as, they've, um, as soon as the envelope has been completed. And then, and this is something that your admins are really gonna like, every document, every completed document is renamed using the specific naming convention of your choice and is filed in the right a folder or electronic electronic filing cabinet that you might be using. So for example, the W9 will be extracted from the completed packet and will go under, I don't know, the main LP folder and then there's a subfolder for uh, tax documents. Um, it's completely up to you. You can map this uh, to your liking. Now, obviously this is going to save a ton of time on your team uh, and the LP side, but another great thing um, is that by uh, collecting all of that information in your subscription document, we can feed that information and store it into a database. Why would that be useful? Well, if you're a VC or a property or a real estate fund, your investors are often investing multiple times in different funds. And so if that's the case, using a click, you can prefill all those future subscription documents using the data you've, you've already got on file for that LP so that the subscription process is completely automated. The only thing they need to do is to open the envelope and sign. It's just beautiful, it's fully automated. Now you might be a little curious to know what funds actually have to say. So funds that have been using this for a couple of months, even years, what is the feedback that we've been getting? Um, I've included in the next minutes of this video a few testimonials from funds that have implemented this automation using our services and I think you might find this super helpful. So stick around for the next couple of minutes and I will see you in the next one. Ciao. Um, I'm Carrie Dunn and I am the Chief Operating Officer for Kingsbridge Wealth Management. In the last couple of years, our fund has really begun to grow. Subscription documents are very uh, long and cumbersome and technical in some cases. And we were, uh, with the increase of in investors, we just had a lot more paperwork to collect and gather and documents to store. Um, it was taking a lot of time for our operations team to track all this paperwork down and get the supporting documents as well. The process has just become so much easier. We set this up, it's hosted on our website and um, it's password protected. So we feel like it's a secure solution and um, there's really no opportunity for error. Um, the documents that we need are quickly routed to our files and sent to our third party administrator, which is, which is very helpful. Just the whole process of getting the investor onboarded has been so much better. Um, it's cut down on a lot of time from our operation standpoint. There's really no documents to be, to be chased. And um, we've, the investors that have gone through it have had just raving reviews about how much easier it is, how much better they understand everything, they're prepared before they even come into the process. And so it's just made onboarding much, much simpler. Uh, I think it was it was worth the it was worth the effort to get it done, not just for the investors, but also for our company. Hi, I'm Haig Malkasian. I'm director of finance at Sola Impact. We're a real estate investment company that uh, buys, builds, and operates affordable housing in the Southern California market. So we were looking to launch our fourth fund, and so previously it was 
we have the form document and you have to prepare it for a specific investor, put together an email, send it out, wait to get it back and so on. And it was just a very manual process that took, like I said, it could easily take a week. Uh, whereas now we send out one link um, and it's very self-guided and they're able to, you know, at this point, the bottleneck is how long does it take for the investor to click the link? And after that, it's pretty close <laughs> to done deal. So it definitely expedited that process and made it a lot less painful. Actually, it made it completely painless at this point. Mm -hmm.